at Virgo, welcome in. We're going to start with whatever comes out. This is important messages for you, Virgo. We're going to do different categories in this one. So there will be timestamps at the top of the comment section for those of you that would like to skip ahead and skip past any parts that you are just not interested in. All right, what are the important messages for Virgo? And this is probably gonna be my last one for now. Okay, I don't know if I'll get on later to do Libra, um, but if you're waiting for Libra, just turn on your notification bell, you'll be notified. May do it later tonight, may not. I, I really don't know. All right, Virgo, let's, let's see. Well, you got somebody here missing you. That's the first message. Somebody could be looking at your, I heard that song lyric. I think it's by Ed Sheeran. He's like, I don't even know that song. He's like staring at your photograph or I keep your photograph or he's, I don't know. He's st someone's staring at your pictures, okay? Somebody could be creeping your Instagram too or whatever social media you have. Yeah, I'm definitely getting somebody here staring at a picture of you. Okay, really, this person's really sad and regretful. Missing you. Okay, they're thinking about this. It's a failed connection. The connection failed between you two. They, If they could let you know one thing, they would tell you they still care about you. What else for whatever comes out? Important messages for Virgo. Thank you guys for liking the video. Let's see. Ace of Wands. Keep working on it. Okay, you guys are focused on a goal. If you keep at this goal the way you have been going at it, you're going to accomplish it. Temperance, this is for your highest good. I actually feel like you guys are coming, you're stepping into alignment with your highest self while tackling this goal. So the reason why this excites you with the Ace of Wands, the reason why you get so excited about it, so passionate about it, it's because it's it's meant for, it's your, it's meant for you. It serves your highest good. It gets you closer to your highest self, the highest version. Of, I do see you, I see you stepping into your highest timeline here. If you keep doing what you're doing, Virgo. Nine of Wands. You've been through it for sure. Okay, this is all about resilience. You may come to a point where you're going to have a test of faith. Okay, and what I mean by that, it's like you may reach a point, a breaking point to where you may want to give up. Maybe you're not seeing results as quickly as your ego would like for you to see those results. But your angels are saying, if you continue down this path and just keep doing it anyway, even though you're not getting that instant gratification, keep doing it. You're going to be stepping into your highest timeline, your highest self. And it, and it doesn't come easy. I mean, some, some days are easier than others, but it's like that nine of wands is telling me that you know, you're going to be tested. How bad do you want it? Are you really who you say you are? Are you really who you want to, like, do you really want it that bad, basically? I think you're ready, for sure. With the Ace of Wands, I think you're ready to be this version of yourself. Anything else? Justice, Libra energy. And that's the thing, like, you're so good. You are such a good person. Who are you? Temperance, justice. I don't even see you being someone who seeks revenge. I think you're just heavily protected. And I think you allow karma. I think you allow people to just, like, get their own karma the way that they need to. I don't see you being somebody that seeks revenge in any way. But somehow you still get it. Because you, you work on yourself. That's the thing. 
anytime somebody has came in and knocked you down, pushed you down, you've always transmuted that negative energy into making yourself great, okay, or bettering yourself in some shape or form. Ten of Pentacles, the Hanged Man Reverse, yeah, an end to a delay. Delays are over for you. Some of you guys, you may have been procrastinating or stalling, but it's kind of like you're about to get a fire lit under your, you know what, okay? I think you're, I think you're just, you're ready. The lovers, that's you coming into alignment, okay? Uh, Queen of Pentacles, I do see a connection coming towards you. But what I'm getting with the lovers, with what else is coming out here, this is you connecting with your higher self. You know, this is you balancing out your divine feminine, divine masculine. This is you figuring out what it is you want for you. And it's kind of like you're coming home to you. Not to be cliche, but that's what I'm getting. Give me an angel number for Virgo. I feel like you guys are just heavily focused on yourself. And there is someone over here missing you, focused on you as well. Could be a water sign, a Gemini, a Libra, a Sagittarius, a Pisces, or they have those signs in their chart. I feel like there's something you're working on that is going to up your income in some sort of way. It's going to provide you with stability, long-term sustainable st stability here, okay? Success with the Ten of Pentacles. All right, angel number for Virgo. This is a good reading, Virgo. You guys are doing the thing. Four, four, four. Look at this. You are protected. You've always been protected. Again, I don't think you're someone who seeks revenge. I think you just let the universe handle it. Or this is your advice. If you're in the mindset of wanting to seek actual revenge from people, you've got to get out of that mindset because... What's that? You know, your nemesis will defeat themselves, okay? It says, I am protected. Trust your journey. Trust the way your life unfolds and trust that you are where you need to be at the present moment. You're going to be seeing 444. Okay. Sorry my phone keeps going off. My family group chat. <laughs> okay, I thought I had my vibration turned off, but... I'm in a group chat with my brother and my parents, and I sent them a TikTok earlier, so it was my fault. All right. Let's see. Lobster. Those of you that are in a financial pinch, um, I am getting more opportunity here to like, some of you guys may be working an extra shift. Or I do see, some of you guys may be working on your resume too, I'm getting. Like, you could be working on your resume here, but I'm seeing like a new job opportunity coming towards you if you really want it. If you really want it, that opportunity is there. Okay, and it is an opportunity to make more money. But I feel like whenever you get accepted, whenever this job offer comes in, you're going to be, you're going to stall. You're going to have this period of like realizing that you have to leave a comfort zone, but you leave the comfort zone for more money. Could be just, uh, or, you know, I'm also getting like a different position at the same company for some of you. I also see those of you that are wanting to own your own business. And if that's what you've been working on, I see this year great potential for you to leave working for someone else and working for yourself. Is what I'm getting with that crib. Four leaf clover, good fortune. Yeah, what did I just dang? You're in alignment with what you want, okay? I would say, you know, four leaf clover, that's all about luck, but it's not really about luck, it's about alignment. Like you are in alignment with your desires. And so whatever you're doing, you must continue doing that because that's how you're gonna stay in alignment. Look, we have broom, new home, new attitude. 
I feel like new home, new attitude. Intuitively, I'm feeling it's inside yourself. You being the home, you being the foundation. So it's like it's a new you that you're stepping into. Some of you literally will be moving, though. You're also being asked to declutter as spring starts or before spring starts. Declutter your home. Okay, open up some space. Get rid of stagnant energy in your house. We have Pisces. Sagittarius, Gemini, and Libra. Leo at the bottom of the deck. Let's take a look at you singles. Thank you so much, moderators, Carol, Bill, Roxy. I appreciate you guys. Thank you all so much. Anneli, thank you so much for the super chat. Anneli Ludstrom, thank you so much, babe. I appreciate that. Let's see. Single Virgos. Thank you so much for the super chat. Single Virgo, single Virgo. My pleasure, babe. Thank you. Single Virgo. Who's coming toward the first person? Okay, listen. Whoever misses you. That person that was popping out, missing you, that still cares about you, that's who's coming towards you. It could be a Libra. This person could be, um, or you could have Libra in your chart, but... Somebody wants to come in and, and tell you something. All right? They want to tell you the truth. Hmm. There's somebody here that is missing you. Now, I don't know exactly what happened between these two. Magician. You manifested each other. Unknowingly. I think it was unknowingly. This person showed up in your life. You kind of just like... By the actions you were taking and the thoughts you were thinking, you manifested this person into your environment and they did the same with you. But the magician also indicates there was communication. I feel like there was a desire to communicate more in the past. Could have been some manipulation yeah, of the devil. Could have been some games, some, uh, you know, something a little toxic that happened between the both of you. Five of cups, they're coming towards you. I feel like this is somebody that you could not get off your mind with that devil energy. They're coming in with an offer. What is this offer? You don't have to accept it to work things out. Yeah. Oh, Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. This person wants to make things right with you, Virgo. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving Knight in the deck, right? This person has been moving slow because they have been trying to... This person wants to make sure they... I'm getting an offer you can't refuse. I do feel like behind the scenes, this person is making things right. You just may not be able to see it because they want to come in. They want to come through. Could be blocks in communication or something was blocking this connection and that's getting cleared out. Six of Pentacles. Because they know that in order to give to a connection, there needs to be balance here. Equal give and take. This person is definitely trying to figure something out in their own life before they come forward with this offer. So what I'm getting is don't just think that this don't just think that this person is like willy-nilly on autopilot going through their day-to-day -day not thinking about this and not wanting to get this together. Because I feel like what you're not seeing, because I think a lot of you don't see that, 
you could feel it. I feel like your intuition may be picking up on it. But this person is actually trying to figure out how to clean the slate. How to make things right. And they want to come in with an offer that you can't refuse. Something that is tangible. Something you can actually touch. Something that, you know, they want to plant a seed here. But it's almost like they're needing to preen the soil or, you know, they're needing to, they need some sort of clean slate first before they can do any of this. So that's who's coming toward you singles. The world, this person could be at a distance from you. There's a lot of online watching here. Somebody could have Capricorn in their chart. Okay, Aries, Gemini, Virgo, Libra is here. So those of you that have a new person of interest, oh, hold on, oh my, oh my, my, the new person of interest, Ace of Wands, Whew. okay, Justice. Libra's here. So this person's really attracted to you. Knight of Swords. They want to come rushing in. Hi, baby. I love you. They want to come rushing in. How does this new person see Virgo? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Virgos. How do they see you? They see you as working. Malachi, can you get off my keyboard, honey? Okay. The cats are starting to wake up from their naps. Sorry, y'all. They see you as working on yourself. They can also see you as having a secret. Or they have a secret. Let's see. What's their secret? That they're confused by you. You confuse this person. I'm getting like with the two of swords in reverse, this is information overload. There's a lot going on in this person's brain, whether you realize it or not. Mm -hmm. That's their secret. <laughs> They're really good at hiding it. That, that high priestess has a poker face. You would never know just by looking at them, okay? How much they miss you or how much... They don't want to regret the wrong choice. Five of Cups, Two of Swords in reverse. Somebody is really in their head not wanting to make a decision because they don't want to regret their decision. Now, this could just be as simple as someone coming up and, you know, talking to you, really, and then regretting it, right? The fear of rejection or fear of failure here, okay? Um, but for some of you guys, they feel as if they have information overload, like, they feel like they know too much. I don't know what they know. What are they? Oh, three of pentacles. I think this person's really observant. Mm-hmm. You're dealing with someone who is very intuitive, Virgo, and observant. The emperor. They hold you in high regard, though. I feel like this person has a lot of respect for you. You come across as disciplined. The Eight of Pentacles, the Emperor, it's like you come across as someone who is structured, disciplined. And, you know, the Ace of Wands, they find that sexy as hell. All right? As heck. Okay. Um, tell me more. The Hanged Man, Pisces. Aries is here as well. wonder how you view them they want to know how you view them or if or if you even see them 
Four of Cups. They, they, they think you ignore them. We have the Nine of Pentacles here. They just, Virgo, you know, this person feels like you don't need them. They're like, why would Virgo want me? That's weird. They're like, why would Virgo need me? Why would Virgo want me? What would I, you know, this person's thinking very pessimistically. Uh, is that, is, did I say that right? This person's really pessimistic about your view of them. That you may not be, that they may not be your type. They don't think that they're your type. Could it just be an insecurity of theirs, okay? But they're wondering if they are your type. But it's like the Four of Cups, the Hanged Man. They're so concerned with how you perceive them. Okay? Queen of Cups, the High Priestess. Again, this person has a poker face. They have strong emotions for you, but you you that you wouldn't notice it. Just you wouldn't know just by looking at them. You have a secret admirer. For some of you guys, it's not so secret because the Ace of Wands crowning this reading is like, uh, I feel like, you know, you're attracted to them as well. It's the one that you're attracted to. I think this person's really observant, guys. High Priestess, Queen of Cups. They're really observant, but I feel like they may also have a clouded perception of themselves. Strength card. Hermit. They seem withdrawn and held back from you, but they do that because they're trying to hide their emotion for you. If you're wondering, Virgo, the reason why this person is so held back is because they don't want you to see or know just how much they actually are attracted to you and that they do like you. I don't, I don't know why people do this. Okay. You know, people do this. People don't just want to be crazy, <laughs> you know? Um, and I'm saying that because I get a lot of people in my comments like, why don't they just say it? Well, cause people aren't going to do that. They're not going to do that. <laughs> do you do that? Do you? Let me know if you do. All right. Um, but yeah, they're trying to, it does take a lot of strength for this person to hold back from you though. It does. They don't want to. They see you as someone that, you know, they could have a long-term situation with. All right. Clarify the seven. Let's see. You're all this person. God, Virgo. This person thinks about you more than you realize. They're actually really confused and I'm getting more information overload. This person fantasizes a lot about a potential life with you. I'm feeling like this person has fantasized you coming home to them. This person is really over the top, like fantasizing about you and fantasizing about a connection with you. And the seven of pentacles is also telling me all while they're doing this, they feel like it's wishful thinking. I think someone's crazy about you more so than you realize. All right. Could be dealing with a Pisces, a Virgo, uh, more Pisces energy. Aries is here. Leo. Could be any sign. Okay. Let's take a look at the current slash past person. For those of you that are dealing with someone that is, there's some history there. Thank you guys for liking the video. If you haven't liked the video yet, if you could take a few moments to hit that like button, it does help the channel. Okay. Let's see.
Luna. Luna. Honey. Is that necessary? <laughs> Baby, what are you doing? Y'all hear her? <laughs> oh my. That was a... I always get the strange cats, but you know what? Maybe I just make them strange. That's probably what it is. All right. Could be an Aquarius. So the star for what happened, the stars aligned. What is this? This is a connection that just kind of feels like you don't have to do anything in it. Just, what is this? Four of Wands. This is one of those connections that just feel out there. Kind of like 44 could be significant or fours in general could be significant. Four, four, four. A lot of synchronicities with this connection. How are you going to know if this reading's for you? Are you, and look at that, Four of Cups. 444 four, four is your confirmation, okay? You're, you've either been seeing that number or you're gonna start seeing that number. This is one of those connections that is just kind of like, you don't have to do anything. There's a lot of synchronicities here between the both of you. Knight of Pentacles, it's slow moving. There's been some sort of loss here with the 10 of Swords. So it's like it felt like things were moving in the right direction and then it came to a halt. And that could be like a reoccurring thing. Yeah, the Hierophant. This is a spiritual connection or it just feels that way to you. A lot of signs, a lot of synchronicities. I also feel like a lot of belief systems getting blown up here with the Hierophant, the Ten of Swords. Knight of Pentacles, whether on your part or their part. I feel like it could be a mutual thing here where you two are just starting to... I'm, I'm getting something about labels. Not wanting to label it, not wanting to stick it in a box. Something's very spiritual. I feel like you're both becoming more spiritual here. How do they see... How do they see Virgo? There could have already been a reconciliation here. All right. Or like some type of coming together and then separation and then coming together. That's just what I'm getting. I'm getting like there's time periods where you two are together and then there's time periods where you two are apart. Because there's a lot of waiting here with the Four of Swords. But then there's, uh, you know, happiness with the Four of Wands. So it's like waiting for the next interaction. You both are waiting for the next interaction, waiting for the universe to do its thing with the star card, kind of like the universe. What is this? This is like the universe conspiring to bring you two back together each time it happens. And it kind of feels with the star card, it kind of feels, I wanted to say magical, but it's like, it kind of feels like it's one of those things where you're like, what the heck? It's like you couldn't avoid this person if you tried. You could not avoid this person if you tried. Okay. There's uh, some sort of breakthrough happening in the connection. I'm getting this uh, rest of March. Breakthrough in communication or definitely some sort of breakthrough happening with the both of you. How do they see Virgo right now? How do they see Virgo right now? Six of Wands. So you're overcoming something. You could be you could be someone who works in the public eye, or you could be successful. The magician. They see you as someone who goes after what they want and gets it. How do they feel? You could be dealing with another Virgo. I have Taurus here, Aquarius, or they could have those signs in their chart. You know you're exactly what they want. They Okay, the Six of Wands, the Magician, you are exactly what they want. Like if they had to write a list of everything they wanted, they would just write your name. 
Do y'all hear Luna? Oh, that's Malachite. Knight of Swords. This person wants to come rushing towards you. Yeah, they want to tell you how they feel, but why are they walking in the opposite direction? They've got to get their, their perspective is, is going haywire right now. They're, ha they're finding it hard to believe. Dre2277, thank you so much for the super chat. Virgo, this person's finding this connection kind of hard to believe. It's like they run from themselves when they run from you. Or like... Hmm. How do they feel about Virgo? This is one of those connections. If this is going to resonate with you, this is just one of those connections that's like... It's really difficult for the situation to come together. But you both know, you both see each other and you both you both kind of know where each other stands with each other without even saying it. Luna, honey. How do you, um, how do they feel about Virgo right now? That's too many. They're not happy with the way, th the, the movement of the connection. I'm also getting, you know, they're grieving. They're heartbroken. They're worried. They're not happy with the, the lack of movement or the way things are going between you two. How do they feel? How do they feel? So they're in mental conflict. I feel like they're trying to avoid their emotions. Okay. They can't avoid their emotions, but it's like they avoid reflecting on them. Okay. They have a lot of control issues to be, to deal with right now. I don't know exactly what those control issues are, but it almost seems like this person makes things harder than it has to be. And they know that. They know they they know that they put these blockages in their life. They they know that and I feel like this person Virgo is really in this place of starting to realize this. You know, like they're the source of their pain, they're the reason why they are where they are. And I feel like they are trying to figure out how to remove the latest blockage that's in their life. But at the same time, they create a lot of resistance there by overthinking it. I think there's something really difficult they know they have to do. And it's almost like they're trying to refrain from doing it even though they feel and know that they need to. This person could have some sort of like comfort, comfort zone. I'm getting like a comfort zone. They're afraid to leave. So, what's this person's hidden truth toward Virgo? What's their hidden truth toward Virgo? They miss seeing you. When you're not around, they miss you or they're just missing you right now. Okay. They can't stop thinking about you. Give me one more. Universe, give me one more. 
We have, I daydream about a life with you, and then I don't know how to feel. This person doesn't know. They do know, though. That's the thing. They do know. But they're in this place of not wanting to leave a comfort zone. So they tell themselves, I, you know, they're just like, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to feel about this. I don't know what the right choice is. We have air, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, strong Gemini, could be another Virgo for some of you, an Aries, a Taurus, fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, take it how it resonates, okay, this person could have those signs in their chart. Okay, we're going to do all signs, their sign. Thank you guys for liking the video, by the way, I appreciate it. for Virgo. Aries through Pisces for Virgo. And thank you guys for all the super chats tonight. And then also for those of you that sent cash apps, I appreciate y'all so much for that. dealing with an Aries, they want to tell you the truth. Well, what is it that they want to be with you? If you're already in that relationship with the Aries, okay, I am getting that they're happy with you. They want to reassure you that they're happy with you. I don't know why that's coming out. If you're dealing with a Taurus, uh, six of pentacles, nine of wands, the Taurus knows that they've been treating you unfairly. Okay, I feel like the Taurus is wanting to, I feel like the Taurus wants to let down their walls. They know that has, they know that it has been unfair for you that they've had up these walls. If you're dealing with a Gemini, they are really attracted to you, King of Wands. I see this Gemini coming right towards you. If you're dealing with a Cancer, they want your attention, okay? They love your attention. If you're dealing with a Leo, they're closed off, couldn't make a decision. If you're dealing with a Virgo, this Virgo, uh, if you're dealing with another Virgo, I feel like they would just add burden to your life than anything. My Virgo is dealing with a Virgo. This other Virgo is just, it would stress you out. I feel like they've already stressed you out and they would continue to stress you out if you let them. If you're dealing with a Libra, they have feelings for you, very strong feelings for you. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, they want to commit or they think about commitment with you. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, those of you that have been distant from the Sagittarius, the Sagittarius is feeling conflicted on whether or not they should come forward. They're motivated to come forward, but on the other hand, it's like the Sagittarius tells them 20 reasons why they shouldn't. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, The Capricorn waits for you. They're waiting for some sort of sign from you or they're waiting for you to leave a situation. Could be a location or some type of situationship, but the Capricorn's waiting for you to give them a sign for them to make a move. So if that doesn't resonate, don't take it. Um, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, I see communication coming in from Aquarius. If you're dealing with a Pisces, they're confused. They haven't made a decision. Page of Swords, this, this Pisces spies on you heavily. Thank you so much for the super chat, Amiro. Ammo, thank you so much, babe. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. 
All right, everyone. So that's all for the individual sign readings tonight, I'm pretty sure. But just in case I decide to go live again, don't forget to turn on your notification bell. Um, I may do it tonight or tomorrow, but I'm not entirely sure just yet. Depends on what my energy levels are at. But again, thank you guys so much for the super chats. I hope y'all have a fantastic night and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.